Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is going to be quite an exciting one, or at least I think it's exciting. And actually, I can't decide whether I think it's exciting or if it's actually just going to be really embarrassing and I'm gonna regret putting this many embarrassing photos out there. But I really wanted to share with you my eyebrow journey. I often get questions about my eyebrows, I get compliments about my eyebrows and how they are now, but Honestly, they weren't always like this, and I think that is the case for most people. But for me, at around the age of 16, was the time where thin, like pencil thin eyebrows were really quite in. And basically, I've had a journey with my eyebrows. They haven't always looked like this. They've looked pretty bad. I've had some really pretty bad eyebrow days and eyebrow history if you ask me. So I really wanted to just put together this video. I thought it'd be a bit fun to go down memory lane, show you my brow history and my brow journey to what they are today, like how you see them now. I thought this could make quite an interesting video. I did some browsing through the archives to get some of these pictures and honestly they are gold. So let's start off with the earliest one that I have to show with you and this was in 2011. So I would have been around 16 years old or just turning 16 and basically the eyebrow journey began. I started to feel grown up probably like you know as you're a teenager you're sort of moving schools and meeting new people and so on. So I started to experiment a little bit more with my eyebrows. Do remember that this was kind of like the time, like this definitely goes with the times and you know this was kind of what was on trend at the time so please do bear that in mind don't just think i was absolutely crazy when it came to eyebrows so this was me in 2011 these were my eyebrows then and i mean we're gonna obviously continuously compare them to how my eyebrows are now which is their more natural kind of shape but here in 2011 you can see that i started to grow friendly with the tweezers i have definitely done a lot of plucking here so much so that i've ended up with sort of like that straight line. It basically looks like I was trying to create the slight arch in my eyebrows but failing if you ask me. You can see the natural shape of my eyebrow is still coming through though. You can see that the front of it remains quite like I don't really know what you call it, but it kind of like shoots up at the front of my eyebrows. The hairs go straight up and you can still see that here. I mean, in just a tiny little chunk that I left showing this. It's so ridiculous. And then it goes into like a rounded arch kind of, but then we have the natural arch of my eyebrow as well like you can still see it quite defined here because I guess I was just plucking around the bottom of my eyebrows and sort of leaving the top so at the top I still had my natural eyebrow shape but at the bottom it was as round as could possibly be and I think you can also tell here that I started to pluck a lot in the middle of my eyebrows so between my eyebrows I mean now there is very little space so you can see just how much I had plucked the inside or like the monobrow side the this bit of my eyebrows like the space between them is huge I essentially like removed this whole front chunk from my eyebrows which to me now just seems absolutely crazy and like bizarre that I would even think to do something like that but yeah that was 2011 that was I would say the start of like downhill. This photo is another one from 2011, but it's got like less Instagram filters on it. So you can see a bit more clearly exactly what I was saying. Quite a thin, try to be arch brow, like a wannabe arch brow, but so much over plucking in the middle between my eyebrows. So there was just a huge amount of space between them, which looks really unnatural. Like, I don't know what it is about eyebrows that are like too far apart. It just looks so unnatural to me and something that I don't think I would ever do again. But I mean, don't hold me to that. We never know. In 10 years times, trends may change again and we may go back to this. Who knows? But looking back at my eyebrows now, I definitely think that like this was there was just so much wrong with this weirdly I couldn't find too many photos from 2012 so I only have this one which is black and white I don't even think I look like me but you know we'll go with it this is the one I have to share for 2012 and basically it's kind of like 2011 but 
even more exaggerated, I would say. So here we really do have like a whole semicircle eyebrow going on here. By this stage, I must have gone to get them done like professionally at the time and asked for this sort of thing. Or even this could have just been the thing that was popular at the time. And you can see that they are it honestly looks like someone just grabbed a Sharpie and drew two semicircles on my eyebrows, basically. Beforehand, in 2011, you can still see that my natural brow shape was there, trying its hardest to peek through, but it definitely was still there. However, moving forward into 2012, there is no shape there at all. There is absolutely no natural definition. There is no arch. There is, like, there's just nothing. It's literally a semicircle where my eyebrows should be. Still got that massive space in the middle between both eyebrows and just this was not a good look. Then we moved to 2013 and at this stage I was at university. This was my first year of university and I think you can see that I am starting to go away from the super thin semicircle style eyebrows. I was letting them grow out a little bit more here and by the way all of this time I wasn't using any sort of brow products or anything like that. It was just sort of naturally what I would achieve with my natural eyebrows I suppose. So here you can see I am starting to let them grow out. My natural eyebrow shape is starting to be a bit more defined again so you can see that the arch here is coming through a little bit more. You can see the natural like spikiness from the front of my eyebrows as well. Basically in this photo you can see where like my hair has started to grow from having such a large space between my eyebrows. Where that started to grow you can see that my eyebrow hairs have started to like flick up there and and I don't know why I did this, but basically I just left like a chunk at the start and then an arch, which is just bizarre. I know people talk about like the tick eyebrows and so on, and I wouldn't say these are like exactly like that, but they are definitely very, very similar to that. So just a huge chunk at the front and then a really thin arch like it's so weird like what a weird eyebrow shape I can't believe this was ever like a thing but this was essentially what my eyebrows looked like all through university fast forward to 2014 summer 2014 I don't think I will ever forget this day this happened in Portugal in the summer holidays I went to a salon and I asked to get my eyebrows done so they were waxed at the time waxing was really popular so my eyebrows were waxed I didn't really say anything about the shape I wanted or anything like that I sort of just completely trusted the person doing my eyebrows and I left looking like this I can't believe it this for me was probably one of the worst like experiences that I could have possibly done to my eyebrows and I remember like I vividly remember leaving that salon and thinking oh my gosh what's just happened but basically where I had started to grow out my eyebrows a little bit more as you could see from the photo in 2013 obviously they had no shape they were just looking really messy and really weird to be honest so I wanted to sort them out in Portugal I thought hey I'll take this opportunity get them done here but at the time it was quite trendy particularly in Portugal to have thin eyebrows and rather than sort of tidying up what I had and just giving my brows a more natural shape we essentially took out any of the natural shape and whilst we're not quite in semicircle territory we're definitely in the territory of super thin eyebrows I mean you can pretty much see that it's just like quite a straight line there really isn't much definition there it's just a line like awful and one final one from 2014 because why not this was back in London but the angle of this picture you can actually tell just how thin these eyebrows were so the front of my eyebrow is slightly thicker but then the tail of my brow is so so thin and honestly I don't think my eyebrows have ever recovered from being this thin particularly the outer corner of my eyebrows I definitely find I, I still struggle with the outer corner of my eyebrows like they are definitely thinner less fuller than the front of my eyebrows and I honestly think it has something to do with just how thin I would constantly 
pluck the tail of my eyebrows. I mean, throughout my eyebrow journey, I have really like mixed and matched with the front, but when it comes to the tail, like the outer part of my eyebrows, I've pretty much always had this really thin, and I still notice today when I grow them out, and obviously they're much thicker and fuller than they were at the time, I do still notice today that the ends of my brows, the tail of my brows, definitely have a lot of more sparseness. On to 2015 now, after the trauma of 2014 and those terrible, terrible pencil thin eyebrows, I started to let my eyebrows grow out. I very rarely touched them. I would sort of tidy up a little bit every now and again, but I just let them grow out as much as I could. And honestly, I think this is also partly down to me being like quite lazy when it comes to things like this. And the upkeep of like doing your eyebrows so often was just too much for me. So you can see here that I started to grow them out. And this is what I was saying, like the front part of my eyebrows you can see is definitely looking fuller and thicker, but you can see that the tail of my eyebrows in this picture is still quite thin, so I weirdly have like a thick area of eyebrow and then a super thin area in the tail, so weird. But I had eyebrows like this for such a long time. You can tell that the front of the eyebrows is really thick and then I have continued to sort of pluck the outer corner of the eyebrows. I think I would do this to create a bit of an arched effect for my eyebrows because naturally they don't actually have a very defined arch. So I think what I was trying to do was just get that arch definition back, but I don't really think I did it. Here we're in 2016 things are looking much better and much brighter. From here on out, I think things just get better. So here we have a very full looking set of eyebrows can't tell you how happy I was that my eyebrow hairs still managed to grow through. This is something I say quite frequently, but oh my gosh, I'm often like annoyed and frustrated at being so like naturally hairy, but in this case, I couldn't be happier about being a naturally hairier person because my eyebrows somehow managed to make it through, somehow managed to overcome the pencil thin eyebrows on more than one occasion. So hats off to these eyebrows, hats off to the hairiness because it got me here. So this is what my eyebrows looked like in 2016. You can tell that there's no longer a huge gap between both of my eyebrows. I started to let them grow out to a more natural position. I do still have a slightly more thinned out outer part of my eyebrows, but I think that's just something I used to do. As I said, it's something that I tried to achieve, I suppose, with my eyebrow shape, and you can definitely still see it here. Also, I'm not sure how well you can tell in this picture, but as I've started to let my eyebrows grow out more towards the front of them, you can see the hairs that I'm talking about, the hairs that just literally like flick up, and you can see it in this picture a bit, I'd say. I say you can tell, but I do actually have another picture from 2016 to share with you because I think in this one, you can really tell what I mean about those extra long hairs at the front of my eyebrows. I mean, to think that years ago, I would literally just pluck out that whole section to get rid of that sort of effect. Can't believe it. But here you can see that I'm letting them grow out, letting them be a little more natural. I do remember that I, I didn't like this and I still don't really like that look of just the front hairs being super like high, just super like flicky. It's so weird, I think. So I used to try and brush them with brow gel to the side so that they would kind of comb over to the side, I guess. And you can see that in this picture here. You can see that a few of them I have managed to comb over to the side, but a few from the front are definitely more stubborn and they just shoot up regardless. On to 2017, and I don't think they look too dissimilar to my eyebrows in the year before, so in 2016. The difference, which I don't know if you will be able to tell, the difference is just the front section, whereas before I would let those longer eyebrow hairs just like flick up. Here I started to learn that you can just trim them. You don't have to pluck the whole hair, believe it or not. That is a message for 2012 me. You can actually just trim them. And I don't know why I never did this sooner. It's so weird that I would just let them grow out like this and not even think that I could just quite easily trim them. I guess having done so much damage to my eyebrows previously, I was somewhat concerned about coming at them with some scissors, basically. But 2017 is when I started to just trim my eyebrows if they were getting too unruly, if they were too long, if they were much longer than the rest of my eyebrows and it just looked a little bit weird, I started to trim them. And trimming my eyebrows is still something that I do today. Moving on to 2018, and here we have a much thicker and also much darker 
brow and honestly looking back at these photos I do kind of think wow that is a really dark and defined eyebrow but that's the thing we go through these phases with eyebrows that you know looking back maybe in a couple of years we'll think that the way my eyebrows look right now is awful as well like I don't know it just goes with the trends but in 2018 I started to use many more products actually I used more eyebrow products than I did previously in previous photos there's not that much brow product being used but here is when I properly Properly, fully started to invest in an eyebrow routine so I would do everything from penciling in my eyebrows sometimes I would even like shade them with the gels and the pomades and that sort of thing and I started to use a lot of those and I just think in terms of experimenting this was a stage when they were just a little bit too dark and rather than having any sort of natural look to them and still like natural hairs and so on there wasn't really much of that it was just very dark 2019 is pretty similar to 2018 still Still have very very dark eyebrows but I don't know how well you can tell here but you can see that I am starting to let the arch grow out a little bit finally I'm not over plucking the outer side of my eyebrows anymore I'm kind of just letting it grow out a little more naturally still very dark eyebrows here though still probably using shade 5 when I should have been using shade 3 but yeah you can tell more of a natural shape but I suppose a less natural looking color and then we have 2020 which I think is probably the most similar to present day so here you can see that there is a much lighter eyebrow pencil being used here a much lighter product which is much more closer to my natural eyebrow color and my natural coloring and you can also see that I am focused on the natural hairs as well so that element of an eyebrow that looks natural so that does actually have you know real hairs there and it is an eyebrow made of hairs and not coloured in with a pencil you can definitely tell that I am leaning towards more of a natural look here this I would say is the closest eyebrow to my natural eyebrow shape I don't think I have a very defined arch with my eyebrows naturally it just isn't something that my eyebrows really do they do arch ever so slightly but naturally I have quite straight looking eyebrows and in previous years I was basically just trying to achieve an eyebrow shape that wasn't my natural brow shape so it either looked weird or it was just too difficult to achieve or it just didn't look quite right on me and I think here you can see that my eyebrows are just naturally straight they don't really have an arch to them they don't really have too much going on they're just a straight eyebrow honestly I do prefer like a more arched look admittedly but if it's not what my eyebrows want to do it's not what they want to do I'm not about to go back to like 2011 days and pluck them super thin anymore if they are big and bushy then let them be big and bushy for 2021 I have a picture from lockdown we had various different times that we were told to stay at home and we had to spend so much more time at home and I actually used this opportunity to let my eyebrows grow out I remember not not touching them for the longest time they were so grown out you can see in this picture that they had grown out quite a lot and actually this was the time last year when I filmed my eyebrow update video in that video I showed you how I trim pluck dye and groom my eyebrows that still very much applies to my eyebrows now it's still very much what I keep doing I haven't had my eyebrows professionally touched in such a long time now honestly like probably two years or something since before the pandemic began which is crazy it blows my mind but I'm quite happy doing them at home for me now it's more about an upkeep rather than a complete transformation which leads us to now present day eyebrows present day present day me in 2022 we are seeing the fluffy gelled slick eyebrows be huge right now it's so popular at the moment I've tried it I've tried it a fair few times but admittedly I don't know if it's for me I have to be honest I know that the idea is for a more natural like fluffier looking eyebrow but I don't actually know if it looks that natural on me I think on me sometimes it just looks a little bit too forced I just don't know if it's an eyebrow trend that I personally love and I think that's okay if you love it good for you you do you I'm not here trying to like slate it or anything like that I just don't think it really suits me but 
I mean, next month I could change my mind and you'll see me here with mega fluffy eyebrows. It really is a thing with trends. And I think that's the case for all of these photos and my eyebrows over the years. I have pretty much just followed the trends of the time, whether it be on purpose, so me doing it myself, or whether it be salon mishaps, it's just been following the trends of the time. Who's to say that in a couple of years time, we won't look back at our eyebrows from 2022 and be like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Like, it's just trends, it goes with the time. It's pretty natural, to be honest, for us to look back and be like, oh my gosh, what were we thinking? And for our opinions and trends and what we love and what we don't like to change. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but who knows? Maybe in 2031, I'll have super thin eyebrows again. Well, we don't really know. Hopefully not. Hopefully I have learned my lesson, but you never know. But anyway, that was today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different from me, but I thought it would be really fun for us to just go down memory lane and essentially look through some really embarrassing photos from my teenage years. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that if you want to see how I look after my eyebrows now, how I do it all myself at home, then my eyebrow routine video is up on YouTube already. I will leave it linked in the description box down below so that you can go ahead and watch that or just search like Peak So Eyebrows and it should come up. A very big thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye.